I think we're gonna have two types of bags this pleated one and the little messenger bag you just saw right now we're getting ready to do aprons three aprons take a look at this one guys Football. Your thing's boiling, man. You have to watch that thing that is boiling, okay? Mm Josh, mm -hmm. when I was um, vlogging earlier, not vlogging, live. Yeah. Oh, God, we need to get some WD-40 on that. <laughs> when I was live earlier, everybody kept telling me that my camera was out of focus for the um, the um, cell phone. Hmm. And I wiped the lens to see if it was dirty, and they're like, no, it's not dirty, it's out of focus. And I'm like, how is it out of focus? They well, you might have auto focus on. What the hell is that? I assume a function in the camera. I do not know because I really don't care about the camera on my phone. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the hell that is. So anyways, I was showing my, um. oh, you guys, let me get the little bag for you in this scene. It's a cute bag, y'all. I'm gonna have to make some baguettes because we ran out of butter. Oh. And we didn't go to Costco yet because that's where I buy my butter because butter is expensive everywhere else. Yes, it is. And so Joe went and bought margarine. What is wrong with Joe? Uh, margarine it, ain't no good for you. It tastes so nasty since I'm used to butter. <laughs> so this is a little bag. Can you guys see it? I showed it at the live. It's a messenger bag. The instructions, the instructional video that I watched said to make this part 36 inches long so see it goes like this but then when you try to do this i think it's a little bit too snug up here mm -hmm. it's not tight or anything but i don't know i think it should be a little bit longer so i think i'll start making the straps um not after this one though i have to i have another one cut already the straps cut already so i have one that's going to be like that and then the rest are going to be a little bit longer and I'm just going to put these things on my website. I'm still working on my website. I didn't vlog too much today because I had a massive headache all day today. And I didn't know that it was a headache. I just started to feel kind of off balance and just didn't know how to describe how I felt. And I started to have neck pain. And pretty soon I realized it was like a tension headache. So I took some ibuprofen. So I'm not feeling too badly right now. But I wished that I could figure out from early what the heck that was that i didn't have to be in all that pain so me and josh are hanging out in the room because he's trying to pay for his school fees to go back to school because remember he took off a, um, a quarter right you go you go quarterly yeah i did i did not take one off i was forced one off. He, he was forced to take off a quarter because they and wanted him to pay boy. like eleven hundred dollars for his classes and it's because he took like one class thinking that they would give him all the money from the um, grant and uh, will not give him but pay for the class I just at least. The classes cover. I didn't care if I got yeah, any just guy. pay for the class yeah. and they didn't do that. The less uh, credits you take, the, the, the less you money you it. get. Yep. So he had to go on ahead and drop that quarter and now he had signed up since November and the payment is due tomorrow. So he's setting himself up on a payment plan for three months worth of payments to pay what he owes, which is like what, five something? Five twelve, I think. Yeah, the grants are not really covering anything much anymore. Ever since you know who got in. And they removed my state grant and mm -hmm. and Joris state grant, so it doesn't cover everything. Yeah. Uh, Joris came this time to three hundred and something, 
the last time his was five something, the, the, the quarter that Joshua dropped out. So, and Joshua doesn't have a car to go to school because that little car outside, we have to sell that so we can get our seed money to buy more cars. So we're gonna have to take him to and from school. But you know what? As a family, you do what you have to do. That's all I'm saying, you do what you gotta do. So my headache's gone. I think I just slept bad on my pillow last night. I think when I lay down, I didn't move. I, the same way I fell asleep was the same way I found myself when I woke up this morning. And if I sleep on my back and I don't put something here to like hold my neck up this way or hold my neck up that way, I'll kind of do that slouchy thing. And that's where the neck issues will come in. So at first, I wasn't even going to upload a video to the vlog tonight. Because you see we're in bad lighting and everything right here, but who cares? You know, my vlog this time around, this year is going to be what it is. It's got, it is what it is, right, Josh? Mm -hmm. uh, but I was able to go live. 18 of you came on. I'm telling you, 18 is my lucky number. And for those of you who don't believe in luck because you're too Christian to believe in it, whatever. That's all I'm going to say is whatever. <laughs> if I believe in luck either but you know it's, it's sure fun to say I don't like to be so holier than thou that I can't even say luck I was watching this church thing the other night and the girl got up to give a testimony and she talked about some car that almost hit her the car hit her or whatever and she goes luckily blah 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 and oh they went off on her like you don't use the word luckily you're a Christian you know the luckily is not in your vocabulary but I go car car <laughs> yeah this bag's gonna be for Jada Shanika said she got a compliment on her bag um, at work. I wonder which bag. Is it the pleated one or is it the little tote one? Oh, I totally her, forgot she got two bags. Mm. 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 You got to text her to ask her which bag. But that thrilled me because when the website is up and going and somebody says, hey, nice bag, even if they don't ask where you got it from, you could say, hey, this is where I got it. <laughs> My friend be selling though. <laughs> I heard from Mario today. Mario was really thrilled that I got a lot of good um, response to the clip or the feature that they did on Christmas Day. Um, he hasn't heard anything back from his bosses, so that means it was good because if it was bad, he would have been lectured by now. And so he says, I'm sure that I'll come out there again one day soon to do something else. I don't know what. So we better become successful so he can come back with a follow-up story. Like, remember that one family that was having a rough year a rough year in 2017 and we featured them for Christmas? Well, look, it's St. Patty's Day and they have become successful. She won the $50,000 from the Pillsbury Doughboy contest. Oh, my God. He could come out for that, Josh. <laughs> she won the $50,000 from that and that catapulted, catapulted. catapulted her into the career she won. Oh, my God. Barbara, stop dreaming. <laughs> You guys, I love you for watching as usual. Fiona, a very happy birthday to you. Your uncle tried to send you a happy birthday text through Facebook. Mm. I don't know if he was successful. I'm going to go check now so you can have it in writing. But we knew that it was your birthday all day today. We hope that you had a fantabulous birthday, okay? You and Giovanni's birthday is today. Can you believe that? Two people in the same family. Mm. 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 Two, cousins, two um, Joe's nephew and Joe's niece both had birthdays today. Yeah. You guys... Thumbs up this little video if you liked it. We're going to find something fun to do tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you can know when I upload another video. And, of course, do not forget to leave a comment because I really and truly look forward to your comments. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah, daddy, you know, you kimono. You're